PC Works, Dirt Car Sportsman, qualifying race number one. Going away on the pole, the Pete Costco haulage, Davidson line marking and parking lot main at 73, fourth generation driver Dylan Davidson. He will be joined by the TJR Enterprises 9R of Tom Rickow Jr. out of Cambria, New York. Row two to the inside, Daryl Faraway in the Posner Metalworks, 53 out of Hamilton. He will be joined by the Williamson Welding, number 12 out of Port Coburn. It's heavy Chevy, Chad Chevalier. Row number three to the inside in the Rick's delivery. Baron Roofing and Siding, St. Amon Auto, 18R, former Mr. Dirt titleist, Brad Rouse. He will be joined by last Sunday night's feature winner. Driving the Mid-City Cool Carts, the Reap House, 12A, Port Coburn's Jeff Armstrong. Row number four to the inside, the CJ Construction, at number seven. That'll be Matt Farnham out of Tonawanda. He will be joined by the Triple T Towing, Lakeview Orchards, 81, Boston Susie out of Ranceville. And going away, shotgun on the field in the Timber Mart. Seaway Mall, number 11 out of Welland, it's Joey Mastriani. Getting ready to go, green flag comes out, and here we go. Young Dylan Davidson, his rookie year here. In the dirt car, Sportsman takes it to the bottom. Chevalier with problems already off of two. And he will come up limp, and we're going to need a yellow here on the outside to turn number one. Just as Brad Rouse went three wide to get underneath the Daryl Fairway 53 in the Rickow 9R, we'll see the yellows flying for Chad Chevalier. Chevalier dead in the water. Now he will drive it away here. The number 12, not sure what happened, Steven. The back end of the field. Two qualifying heat races means top six will redraw for the starting positions tonight. If Jeff Armstrong in the 12A hits the redraw, he will start sixth by virtue of being the winner last week. White flag is out. One more lap, we will turn them loose. like to welcome everybody from Zink and Truck and Trailer. Hope you're enjoying your night up here in the PC Works Tower and Suites here at Humberstone. Dylan Davidson has himself a new dancing partner at the front of the field in the name of Brad Rouse. Yeah, if I'm a rookie, I don't want to dance with Rouse. I'm looking for a new partner because we'll see what happens here. Not that Russ is a bad dancer, I don't think. I just wouldn't want to start on the outside of him, that's all. Going to be a tough hole for Dylan to hold back. A veteran like Brad Rouse, always quick. Rouse around the top side, but the youngster holding pretty good. But Rouse, masterful with the throttle control. Let's see how he can put it down here and try and take the youngster to school. He tips it to the outside, and now school's in session just like that. Rouse and Davidson side by side for the leadoff. Turn number two, Dylan Davidson though. Taking the teacher back to class as they bring it in off of turn number four. Davidson will lead him back to the line and Matt Farnham sitting back there in third watching the lead duo go at it. Dylan Davidson looking very good here in this qualifying heat race. Brad Rouse trying to take the long way around but Davidson has been fairly impressive, Stephen. You know, in his first few races, jumped in the ROC Sportsman Tour race. He's been in the deep end of the pool a lot this year and swimming very well on his own. And as we say that, he has the dog paddle a bit out of two as things got a bit sketchy on the bottom. Rouse tried to look underneath. Dylan couldn't do it. Now he goes back to the outside. And now Rouse is at even terms with the youngster. It deters number one and two. But Dylan Davidson keeping the veteran honest and on his toes as they're back into turn number three and four. Yeah, there's that slick spot in two that Davidson has to be careful he doesn't push up into the side of Rouse. He's good here into one, but right about here the car starts to drift up. He pinned it down there and it cost him a bit of speed as Rouse will get around the outside and drive it to the top of three. Here they come, back off four to the line. White flag is out. Brad Rouse, your new race leader. And now can Dylan Davidson get back around Rouse in the final two corners. But Brad Rouse opens up the lead as they're into turns number three and four. Rouse up on the high side cushion. He'll grab the checkers here ahead of Dylan Davidson. And Matt Farnham with a good run into the redraw here in that seven car. Good run for him. 